Just a few more seconds. And we are live. So let's continue our work from Friday. I believe it was Friday. Uh, we built this shopping option section. Now, as we discussed on Friday, in case you missed that stream, this part did not exist on Friday, but it's currently what I'm working on. The idea is that when you shop for a particular seed, uh, now that you are seeing multiple suppliers, you might want to buy a different product from the same supplier. So you will kind of go back and forth between market and uh, the uh, shopping, should the shop interface. So we want to group all your uh, options from the same supplier so you can actually pay delivery fee only once instead of uh, paying it for each order. That kind of thing. So you will actually need to confirm your order separate section. This list here for shopping uh, won't be too long, but we will need to have a scroll bar. Um, but most likely you will want to order multiple things from the same supplier. That's what uh, we'll work on today. So now, So we will still need to see maybe the item type, which is in this case 10,000 10, uh, super Italian paste tomato seeds. Now this item may name will be a bit long for equipment type of items. And also this interface has to change equipment, uh, tools and structures. For example, if you're buying a trellis, it will say trellis here. And instead of buying hundreds of trellis, maybe we'll just have uh, one spin box kind of like a numeric stepper. So you may still choose a quantity, but you're not going to choose quantity per seat package. Because this is like a package, it's like a bag of seats that actually has 10,000. This is a small pack, like a paper bag, that actually has 100 seats in it. So you're actually buying multiple uh, sizes of the same product with a trellis. It's going to be trellis from the same manufacturer but maybe with, uh, with just a numeric uh, value. So this will actually change for different items. Naturally, this has to change too. But for now, let's go with the seeds. So this part may be redundant, debating whether I should keep it. Unit price times two, and we need subtotal um, I think before we have this maybe I need to for lunch this is what I was thinking I some kind of a text here that says your order delivered Say date. Not that. This is what we can do. Smart about this. Okay, component copy from here. These three things can be grouped. So out going to be vertically slide and centered like this maybe five pixels in between something like this
if this text is too long we could always write delivery in 30 delivered in this see Um, we will need something like subtotal. Okay, not. It says to be somewhere here. Let's just do the math. Four seventy. Five four five fourteen oh five. Fifteen twenty seven. Course, this is to align properly it's right adjusted right aligned did i not group this i mean I thought I grouped it, it's framed. That actually has to be bottom aligned to this. I have a different idea here. Just like this, we need in like order total. All this. Actually, you know what? Move this stuff here. Whoa. Let's see. You're not selecting the frame. That's why. Um, Always work out the worst case scenarios. This would be really expensive, but So then we'll have the other stuff too. What other stuff you might ask? There's subtotal, there's delivery. Let's call it uh then sales tax. An interesting question. Should you add the sales sales tax over the delivery or before delivery? I think I've seen both practices. Some companies calculate the sales tax based on the services they are providing. Because they are going to okay. Just a sec. Everything all right? Cat situation. So yeah, the the, the sales uh, tax is basically uh, when this company creates uh, income. That's how much they are going to pay uh, the government. So then delivery is added on top of the sales tax. But sometimes delivery 
is added before sales tax, then your sales tax is actually calculated. It, it gets worse. So. I think in this case, we'll assume that sales tax is only working over the subtotal. And based on where I live, it's 13%. 1150. 51. Let's be accurate. Um, okay. I think we'll need one more of these. It's going to kind of repeat itself, but... Then let's go with this stuff. Okay, so... It's essentially 51. 40, 340, 16, 67. I think I'm going to group these things. And when I add auto layout, okay, it converts to a frame automatic problem there. So this has to be let's do right. Okay, perfect. So let's swap delivery and sales thing. You should be grouped. Why is this still sticking out? Need a we need a thing. This sort of thing. Okay. Just... Thing like this. Coffee time.
you know, I'm I'm thinking about the other item types. <clears throat> if it's a trellis, this is going to be the name. It's not going to have options. In the case of buying a stone tile, each one will have its own name. So the name will be here. Again, just one one uh, option. So in a sense, this quantity will stay the same. It will have the unit price and the total price based on the number of buying. This is the section that's going to be. I suppose we could just uh, keep a placeholder here, like a okay, just unit instead of uh, number of seeds. That way we can actually keep this area same width. We need some dividers here and there. Let's try a few experimental things. This. Um, I think this is the style. No. Dashes. One, one. I think this is. Uh, let's do. Fourth. Okay, so each dash is two pixels wide, and every four pixels you put another. That's smart. That's exactly what it's saying. Why are you even surprised? When you do this, awesome. I think this is kind of what we want now. Not sure. It's ugly. Perhaps this should be let's go with the default one. I think it was two five. Okay, let's go with two four. So I'm thinking need some kind of line here. Let's group these bad boys. This one down. Um, sure, this is what we want packed. Four pixels between. Okay to me. This is starting to look more and more like a receipt. I like that. The shopping cart, but it already looks like your uh, receipt.
Now, this section will be hidden initially, thinking because if your shopping cart is full, in the sense that you are shopping from multiple suppliers, that you have a few suppliers, these should act like a uh, accordion menu. So you click this, it actually expands this order. So you could finalize it. So we'll need a scroll bar. Just checking my memory if I'm forgetting anything. We had four lines, we have them, plus the ETA that we separated from the original design. We have those five crucial points. This area could be tidied up a bit. Semi bold 15. The reason why I want to put this 30 days here is because I don't know if it if it seems relevant that if all all this um, top parts if you have multiple um, orders if you have like a company name like this and another one underneath another one underneath kind of see their order totals and the number of days for delivery. It's an easy thing to see. If the delivery uh, number of days is pushed here, then you would have to click and expand it. Now, this kind of looks awkward there though. Gonna check some noise. As long as I know what the source of the noise is, I'm okay. Let's continue. So yeah, I wouldn't want to stick this here, only to be uh, shown when you click the details. But this area is looking a little bit weak. Now, I think instead of this sort of structure, maybe uh, this is a group uh, auto layout, maybe do vertical, something like that. Maybe instead of 19, do 9. It may even change, maybe center it. And uh, maybe this is uh, this is now going to be beefed up. Okay. 
and uh, click this claim 85. Let's pull you aside. Now, maybe this should be this two. Could go for four. This is already centered. And uh, it's fully up here. Perhaps these two should be grouped. Easy. Like this, and this whole thing is like this, centered like. I'm okay to enlarge the bit so that these two have some room. Keep in mind, this might actually get bigger. I think it's okay. I don't think anyone will order anything over $100,000. Uh, if you are that kind of guy, you are not urban farming, you are factory farming. Uh, so, in, in, uh, so, pardon my Turkish, but what the fuck are you doing then? This is urban farming. You're spending that much money, you're most likely buying a tractor or something. So, un unlikely. So, let's make a frame out of these group. I think I may have to adjust the spacing in between, but uh, fine. And then maybe. Like this. Maybe I'll drop drop the delivery text and it should just say in 30 days. Let's see, maybe we'll have another eye. Thing. Maybe move this over here over there. We'll, we'll get some feedback, but I think this is okay. Let's try that in actually. Just in. 30 days and maybe maybe then it really doesn't belong there let's go with this this should be maybe that these two uh, maybe they should be grouped and this group will have auto layouts it's going to be like this too big to make it zero i think this has some uh, issues because i think i manually yeah i manually enlarged it so let's do uh four
I think I'm forgetting an important part of this shopping part, which is to cancel a uh, particular order. I think that could be a, an easy X button, something like that. Copy, paste, the rotation. Uh, round. Are you even? Oh, something you are even. I mean, you are not even an odd number. So. Copy, paste, date yourself like. I don't think you are doing exactly what I want. You paste, then flip. I think it was shift horizontal, shift H. There you go. What is wrong with this picture? I know exactly what's wrong. Copy, paste, shift H. It's more. It's still wrong though. This is shorter. Nineteen. Copy paste. Do a uh, vertical uh, rotation. Okay. Same. Okay. This is indeed bizarre. Are you centered now? Are you happy? Or not? Oh, I think this has something to do with that center or side thingy. This is where we go into that subpixel area. I think. Yeah, because when you do it that way, it actually is always off one pixel. Now it's larger here and smaller here. Okay, time to get some uh, icons. Can go free pick. Let's see some juice. Let's just type UI icons, something like this. Um, we'll go for free. And uh, just call icon. Something like this. I thought they actually had packs. More like a close button, right? Close icon. Something like this. I remember creating this in uh, Figma. Exactly this rounded corner thing. Why can't I do that now? A bit. Just about that right now. What did I do? This for sure. Round. Rotation was a factor, sure. 45 degrees. Copy paste and do shift V. This doesn't work. This is actually the weird part. So the bottom is 
almost there, but then the top is okay. I think I'm going to kind of manually adjust these because it doesn't. Maybe the angle is not 45 degrees. See, then it's always off. Okay, I'm doing the end pixel pixel editing instead of editing the width. This maybe this is what I did originally. This so let's cut these uh, rulers out of the equation. Zoom out. That's what I did originally to be honest. Gotta be maybe two pixels. We'll put uh, some kind of red color like this. Let's group you. Group you. Okay, I think you should be somewhere here. Maybe we'll put a round corner around you, around a square. Because you may want to drop all these. I think we could also squeeze in a cancel order. This needs to be. Here and you have to be a little bit more than 30, 30 perhaps. I guess your sweet spot is 135. Um, you are a group that actually doesn't have. This is essentially removing everything. Taking this entry out of the. How about we write a um, decent sentence? Whoa, where did this thing go? And I think it was this text I was the font. I think I just removed it. What was the sentence? It was perfect. Worst case scenario, I will rewatch the stream remember the sentence but I think it was something like this like what uh, this is the spread of what I was saying
something like this. It was a bit shorter, I think, somewhere here, but uh, particu particular. Yeah, I'll try to find it uh, from the stream. And I think this is what I'm thinking that we should write. Uh, Send a message here, something like your order of X amount of dollars will arrive in X amount of days. I think we kind of have the basics of that. Say your order of this, cut that, paste it here, okay? Your order of blah blah will arrive in 30 days. Now, the spacing between these two is uh, 9 pixels, and the spacing between these two are 4 pixels. That's not good. This should actually be. Four pixels or something too. Okay, now that's visually balanced. I like that. This actually maybe this can be a bit. Kind of like that. We get a sense of price right away, even if we don't read the fine print. We get to see the number of days. Once the player gets used to that format, it's it. That's it. It's just two numbers and usually close to each other. Money, time. That's it. Now, depending on how wide this area is going to be, I might make this bulk boy a little bit bigger. First, because it's named bulk boy, it needs to be bulky, I guess. Second is. Uh, there's going to be some maybe space here. There's also the matter of maybe dropping this off. We'll try. I also want to try something else here, which is sort of because I don't want to write titles here. It should be um, self-evident. First of all, remove yourself. Hmm. Second, you two should swap places. Sorry, uh, this. Ah. Did not make that as a, a whole group. Okay, I'll have to rewrite that. So, okay, on group. Oh, Let's see. Okay. Hmm. How am I going to rip back? I think I know exactly how. Let's take this in. But the lead should probably go into right after the something here. Okay. All together, you are going to be a group. We're going to have a, an auto layout. You are now going to move the delete button to first place. Perhaps not. Leave it. Leave it where it is. 935, this one should swap with one. Perfect. 
um, vertically screwed up. So let's do it this way. Perfect. Then we are going to repeat this structure. We won't have. It will have one eleven. This right. Get it here. I see. So you two have to be taken out of this, put under Arigula. Uh, kind of get going in the right direction. Okay, hundred and eleven. Okay. Now we've done this part, so this can now go. Bye bye. Now this has to be copied and put right after Arigula, but let's first fix the 5,000. Then you have 235 as means this is going to be two and this is going to be two. Now this group can go. This, this group so under Arigula this has to come like also there is a line that line should be not quite so this yeah that's more like it now this frame Right align here. I think this is as compact as we, we can get. And I believe this was hundred or two thousand. One thousand. And I think this should just say something like this, to be honest. Uh, maybe centered but left aligned. We can do maybe this. So this is gonna go away. These two, I'll group them for now. This has to come down. This come up. Yeah, I think I'm going to put the axis to the left. Let's turn this into a component. Uh, of course, when I do that, I'll have to retype all these. Uh, it's okay, I'll, let's just move the X. Doing that three times is still uh, faster than turning into a component and then updating this stuff. because it's done. 
Uh, we can just adjust this. This. Okay. Let's um, let's uh, turn on this. No. Can all we see here? Let's uh, do it this way. Give ourselves some room. Let's enable it again. Much better. It's going to tidy itself up. Then perhaps this should also be like this. So we do a space between something like this. Put it, uh, do it like this. It's going to be okay because we are going to tidy this one up. Um, next point, these two. Perhaps, perhaps, in the original button, text button, perhaps this is too big, bold 18. Perhaps this should be 17. I have to update it everywhere. But because this is the normal stage, I think it's okay. 17. Which should now make this slightly smaller. It's actually a change everywhere here. 17. But in the uh, selected state, it's still actually the big 18. It's okay. Because we are trying to simulate the uh, smaller keys here. We did 129. have them the same with for now holy moly so let's do auto layout this perhaps too much nine maybe we should drop the name order okay back to Components go back to 18, okay. Then, uh, you have cancel, you have only confirm in your type. Now we are 18 again. Now we can actually do this 120. Because we kind of want to go what? 240? That's the whole idea. This can be 240. Perfect. You are 120 and 240, 230, half it's 150. And you are going to be 240. Just like that. Done. Uh, it should be 10.
then you should be all 240. 40. Um, that'll be 240. Sort of come in. This is actually the big, uh, big boy. Like this actually has to go all the way down. Should be three, uh, three twenty. Uh, maybe we can have one more of this guy here. We'll adjust the <clears throat> title and the order details. Let's copy this frame. Just stick it under here. And this brand will be fresh starts. Other brands. And your order of 100 and Twenty-seven dollars, something like this, will arrive in maybe we'll have one more of this, one more of this. See, I don't know why. Why I when I duplicate the frame, it moves it out of the scene. But get that. Pick a different brand. Windmill Farm. Ooh. I see. I think I did not. What's the difference between Bulk Boy? Tip content or not? Interesting. Yeah, I was messing up with the, these items here. Uh, did I, um, constraints, ah, I see. There you go. Fixed. This one is going to be 3,000 something, and this one will arrive in eight days. Okay, let's see. 
a little bit of distraction to see if this is actually okay. Of all things here, what is bugging me is this scroll bar. It's not bugging me here because it's a uh, sandwich between these two horizontal lines. We don't have that kind of thing. And this will definitely help to have this extended here. This is already looking like it's sort of tucked under. It's good. It's, it, it needs something like this. So you need some kind of footer area here. Perhaps we may have some kind of text here too. I don't know. But this is helpful. You need a uh, conclusion there, you know. So now, th this one, this one, this one, and this one, these can be their own vertical thingy. Which is uh, seven maybe is fine. Twelve, maybe. Perhaps fourteen is the good number. Write something here. Now the reason why I did this, this is going to serve us in a different spot too. When you are, I guess I removed that button. There is going to be another button here, sort of like your orders, active orders. The version of this will be used like uh, order that you just confirmed and you are waiting. You will see the receipt, and now this country, this uh, arrival date will. Matter. Here, the price you are paying matters a lot more. Funny thing is, component here for the calendar, the, the date component there, the E. Components width is the same. I don't think it's enlarged because we wrote 3 versus 8. And oh, because I think this is right aligned. This, uh, no. It just happens that it's it's um, centered, but okay. I think this has to be right. This this can also be right aligned. It's going to be okay. Not that. So when this number gets bigger y is going to get closer. this is going to be more or less the same because it's always the same component it's... okay perfect and i think i should uh What did I do here? So we have all this space. Why is this? Oh, I see. You are left aligned.
Okay. Yeah, I like this. There's an indentation here. There has to be some. I wish there was a way to uh, remove the, the frame titles. I looked it up on Friday, but there wasn't. People said you should group them, and then groups don't have labels. This, I kind of want to see the white space around this, you know? I think it's okay. And a little bit more fine tuning will be done in Godot. I think we could have the, the fine print here. Say, uh, big company and order. Ah, put a dot. Jordan is around, but I think he might be. So, what else do we need to do? Okay, first thing, modify this for other items. Second is, modify this so that uh, when the order is confirmed, that this actually looks like uh, an order on its way. May as well pour the whole thing. Let's do a bit of investigation. Regular sixteen semi bold two. Could we make this bold? Too bold. It didn't look uh, smaller than regular sixteen. All 16. Then you make everything bold. The thing is screaming at you. Semi bold. This, but.
I think that's okay. Because between this and this, this is capitalized. So that they that's why they kind of look okay. But this one is 16. So it's actually balanced out. Perhaps. I can later change this uh, spacing in between. That's okay. Suppose I can do it now. Instead of this, maybe this should. Okay, let's add the hmm, auto layout 14 here too. I think this kind of changed the. Uh, it also did it here too. Yeah, we gotta be careful about that. So this is actually all has to be 14 and left center aligned. Something is not looking quite right. Ah, that's because I see. Because when the digits are going this way, it has to be a grid. Uh, then these are going to be kind of going to be two columns, and then each column will have four rows instead of we have four rows, and each row has column so it has to be inverted so I think we can do let's not be lazy let's do let's um unframe this I think that's Yeah, we'll have to do the whole thing again. Group all this too, okay. Let's uh, lock this. Uh, okay, thank you. Ooh, what did I just select there? I thought I just locked you. Going to be a group. You are going to be a group. You two will have auto layout. Uh, it already understands the spacing, so good. And then you two will be grouped again, actually, or kind of that. But you are not added to the same group. Layout. And this is going to have... Try this. Nope. What about this space? What is going on? What is this extra frame here? Let's take you out. And there was something hinky. Okay, this is not aligned properly, this group. This, oh, this should have had, okay. Now we can actually do this. That's it. 
And we can actually make this any way we want. Do we really need another one of these? Frame 85. Where are you, Frame 85? Frame 85. Good. Five thousand. Oh, I see. Not even in the same frame. Frame ninety is the threshold there. Also means frame ninety is this. Which means this line 13 is actually outside. You have to be putting your place. But not quite so. It's somewhere like this. Okay. Because it's reverse order, I think. How does this look? So what is this prototype? Okay, is this like um here backgrounds creating use the play button. What if we have none? So we do this see maybe yeah then i won't uh i don't want to have this though so i'm just showing this but Well, I can't really see the whole thing without the frame labels, can I? Because I investigated this. Did I turn this into a component? I probably did not. That's fine. That's gonna go through a few more iterations. I think for the time being, I'm happy with this. The fine tuning may be done later. Like this may extend here a bit more. This has to be sort of like here too. We'll see. The generic idea. So
what's next for us? In the case of order history or the uh, incoming orders, this uh, delete button won't be, it's, it's going to turn into, let's actually do that too. Let's, um, where's the panel? We are essentially duplicating this. going to be uh, much better titles may be given later okay this is going to say exactly this folders That's going to go away. I don't think the user should be able to cancel an incoming order it's not amazon right you bought it you bought it let's remove this then uh, this will I think these two can be the same, doesn't matter. Something like this. Six forty. One. Forty because you know it's six forty. If we get into the minute details of uh, an order's delivery time, maybe this will this may turn into sixty minutes or something. So we'll just change this uh, this uh, unit here, and then that should be fine. I think this looks still tidied up, like without the close button. So if anything. Well, see, this text is kind of wide enough. Uh, I was going to say maybe we can make this uh, 20 pixels narrower, but I think it's okay. Now this, let's group this. This is essentially going to be somewhere like here. Okay. This is now my chance to move some of this stuff. Some somewhere like this. These buttons are cute, but they are way done. Let's re enable this. We may need something like this, this background color here. Shopping con shopping supplier background. That's the component we have. Let's 
something like this. Are you even there? Oh, it won't be because this thing is grouped. Undo. You go all the way to the top. You ungroup yourself. Then you start pushing yourself down. There. I think we need some kind of um, background like this. Perfect. Because it kind of makes a big difference, like there's some background to it. And uh, maybe this is what I was saying, I may have to adjust this area, and I think now is the time. Maybe 250. I think I chose the wrong thing. It's the one. Okay. Yeah. Because there is nothing uh, for separating these two major sections here i think you can see the difference this doesn't have those uh background parts they kind of look like they are floating so we we need to inject something like that copy sorry cut because it kind of pasted in its own space again. Copy, paste, and then. Is this the same problem as the grouping? No, this are okay. So push them down. There. Okay, this just has to be two okay this done much better so now we have consistent look overall different sections Yes, sir. Demanding cat. That's the definition of being a cat. Gotta be demanding. Let's move it up. Um, is this some kind of frame here or group? It's core buttons. Doesn't have an auto layout. It should. Maybe it should. Maybe uh, four buttons should have a layout. So then finances should be duplicated. If you said uh, orders.
paste in place. Paste. That was disappointing. I thought you would be smart about that. In here we got a uh, market button pressed. Market pressed. Stop. Entry here has to be pressed. In the shop, also have orders pressed. Time to ban a Twitch user. Bye. I think I should be writing a few uh, GitHub issues, maybe based on this, some other stuff too. I'm going to be replaced with you. Still making a huge some of the item type. It's good enough for now. Comment that in this later. There will be many. In a sense, this is done. This is done. Done. This is um, basically your uh, history. Whatever you have grown. That sort of thing. Finances is kind of like that, but it's more on the money. What did I think of?
I think that was maybe more on the planning side. That may have to be revisited. It doesn't make much sense right now. As if I relabeled re something for, uh, for planning your garden. I'm not putting the interface yet for uh, holding your cat. Like they're gonna go here. See. Let's look at our. This has to be broken down. That's what we were discussing. Yes. Let's look at the. Is there anything about water? This is only the watering here for rain barrel. Not an issue. Watering this. This has to be broken down. How is it done? This can be. one option is this when and the context menu is open and it is selected that context player go click Icon. Selected plan. Make any sense at all? Kinda. Um. Then this is sort of losing its meaning. In barrel. But there how? Looks like too many buttons at left bot corner, left bottom corner. Perhaps you can hear games. I think uh, we might, yeah. Uh, or actually, the game settings might be uh, together with the speed control buttons. Or there's going to be like music control. Okay, man, your English is understandable. So there will be icons for speeding up the game, maybe. But there will be music pieces that you could play the next, maybe. Some kind of uh, controls, maybe it will be, uh, the settings will be together with those. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's kind of how I'm planning it. Regardless of where those settings will be, either here or here, I think the gameplay controls will be together.
I haven't actually designed. We have some prototype of it uh, in the engine working already, but I'm kind of making this as a separate uh, thing going on. Um, basically, I'm going to start writing some GitHub issues based on this. Thing. Some of the things that I forgot from last week. So are you new to the channel, uh, Mega Asmodi? First time I'm seeing your name, maybe. First time you are watching or first time you are commenting, I don't know. But your English is fine. First time. Mm -hmm. I hope you're enjoying the design so far. Uh, if you want to check the website, you could find more uh, details. Uh, but it's going to be an outdoor gardening game. It's the basic premise. Simulation game. Green barrel watering. Kind of not making any sense because this is from 20 days ago. This is too simple. Do we even have labels so that I kind of say... Yeah, let's mark this email. This is actually in uh, this part of the project. Oh, it's not. That's good. We are breaking this down, altering your plan. Okay, I think this is a good start. Let's keep this here. This is uh, a module for farming. I think this is something we planned for the next sprint. This is also part of the mobile game. Submit. Another issue. This is the part. Picking the Picking my plans from the player. Bring up the context menu. Pick this raise bed. See. My plants that are that objects sentence is too long, maybe it has to be broken down, broken up. Maybe this should be. Not to the developer.
Checking is not exactly right. Displaying. Here the spot is synonym for the plant because the, the growing spot is used by a plant. Also farming. This also involves some UX expectation. This is going to be minimal travel game sprint. It's Submit. The interface, so this issue is now kind of solid. Because unless I change the label, and print. Picking my plants con I did not write what conditions we are checking. May actually be their own issue. Moisture. Please. I think we could also have brightness. See, this may this may have to be broken down again. Good enough for now. I think I may change this issue, deleting it. Factor this, this is what I was. Uh, uh, as a player, be able to uh, dig up plants. Any time I want. So, regardless of plants being dead or not, player to remove the plants. However, we could compost it. I guess most of the time you want to compost it. 
when when would be the time that you don't compost? It's just full. This is like really destroying it without composting it. Because maybe the compost will be full, so then the this button will be unavailable, but this one will be available, that's fine. Because you still want to use uh, use the space, so you want to dig it up. I think this is not exactly a check button. Wait. Oops, after this. This is also going to change. Did I? I don't think I should do that. I think we could tackle this during this sprint. Goes into this. And. Oh, not like. Here. Waiting triage. Put it into there. Any other thing under refactor? No. There usually is a problem with the earlier. Green barrel watering. Too simple. It's invalid here. It should not be. Buying anything, I think this is something that we. This has changed. I think I should uh, destroy this now. This is completely meaningless. We have the market view. We hit, hit the shop button. Hitting the buy button should place this item in the Yeah, this is email too. Completely email. Dropping into this. Done. After I just browse for an item. Click the shop button. Click it. Want to be shown a list of manufacturers? So. There will be an interface that this.
module market. This is definitely this sprint. I think this is already kind of done. This may have a bug, but. The version of this is yeah updating inventory after placing weighted items in the version of this is stackable items i think if you are doing that one you could also tackle this Removing a plant, we have purposed it, optimized it. Yeah, I have to do some like browsing anything. Let's actually look at this and then play will be presented a list of items we need. This view. Browsing will be divided into two. This is actually done. Is, uh, should not be in this this is actually so good news Close the issue. the posting those with comment now it's off the list ah. it did it good okay these are all the things that were yeah. this is when i was writing much more Granular. This is where we are truly explaining how it's done. Before this, this is the cutoff point, I think. Everything was sort of grouped. Okay, so what else can I do today? Suppose I can uh, maybe design those uh, the uh, speed icons going to compound. I think I could create a kind of a like icon component uh, model here too. Keep it simple. This will most likely be. Yes. 
maybe this needs us Roll out C, roll out D. Will you make any? Maybe we'll have another one of these. So one, two, seven. We need a pose. We couldn't make it out of two. Um, it's going to need it. Oh. So I think. It's not matching. Now we can do it. Pose like this has to be good. We know how these are. Done. Awesome. Okay, smart. I think that rounded can be maybe Make any difference? This is going to be twice. we have time uh, display too we have 
Don't hold it. We'll need these. We'll have time. Another button to fast forward the calendar. Um, another button to turn on the settings, game settings. Uh, more buttons to change the music. This almost looks looks like the next piece. So the the passage of time, I am thinking of a different thing. Yes, sir.
All right, can't come to you. Something like, um, something like this. Yeah, we'll give it attribution. So basically, I will be saving these, uh, this one and the reverse and the pause button this will be maybe for playing music so you are 18 pixels and you are 18 by 18 <clears throat> we'll see maybe i'll actually make this one pixel to the left. Did I actually? No, I tried to. 18. Um, okay. This this is gonna be uh one off here. That way. Uh. Looking stupid. That's more like it. Then we'll make these uh these sixteen. Why are you still sh oh is the because of the way I rotated it. Or, one more. You know what? Um, that's fine. Now, with the time, so with the time, we could actually have numbers like one, two, three as the speed factor. So I will download this so that I have a reference uh, so then I can give the attribution to this person but for now so that I can can I mm, let's see yes uh, I think what did I do last time? I was able to import able to import EPS. Yeah.
value SVG. Ah, uh, this is useful. Uh, import. PNG. That's I think that's what we did last time. We exported PNG from EPS. This. Opening, yes, Ta. so we have the objects. So let's get rid of this background, put this the way we want. Um, I kind of like this, this looks interesting too. It says that uh, speeding things up and uh, you know posing its logic let's take that transparent now uh, let's make let's export this into uh i don't know downloads let's call it chrono Call Chrono here. I think this this had that. Uh, see, this is where I was kind of not so. Because it's not really reflecting the overlays what we are looking for, but then the background is not. It's transparent, but then okay. order doesn't matter. Anyway, we can always make that uh, vector somewhere else. Uh, let's just remove. This should not be here. This should be somewhere.
getting a basic idea of like maybe some kind of radio menu. Actually, this kind of sits sort of along the edge, but then alternatively, this could be elliptical with this being a simple. I don't know. I have to think about this. Um, I think I'm going to be done for today. Today's uh, gain is uh, tidying this shopping interface up, uh, making sure that whatever we edit individually into the shopping cart gets displayed in a receipt-like display. We have the canceling the whole order or confirming it so that we have multiple selections all paid for under one shipment. So you pay delivery only once, that sort of thing. That maybe you finalize your order between selecting different options and whichever one is good, you cancel the other ones. So then this record is going to be kept here under incoming orders. So there's some familiarity. So that's really today's major work. And uh, I have updated some of the issues to clarify. Most likely there's going to be a lot more work needed. That's it. And then maybe sometime, I usually think of these things early in the morning after like I wake up and then something comes to my mind i guess i have to sleep on it uh, but we definitely need uh, buttons for music control time speeding uh, game menu um, calendar button the cash situation the players uh, some basic stats and the time really of course the time of the day the year that kind of thing so that all that is a whole design system there it has to be done either in two separate sections or all combined in one section so that's it for today and uh, we'll see how it goes tomorrow so have a good night